Okay, I have a brand new effect to share with you today. Now, my apologies to anyone outside the U.S. and Canada. Uh, this will involve social security numbers as issued in both of those countries. Now, if you take a look at the link in the description below, it takes you to a routine that uses the same underlying mathematics that this one does. And the mathematics explained there can be used for countless card effects that have absolutely nothing to do with social security numbers. Okay, so here's a question for you. Are social security numbers randomly assigned? Well, I actually had to research this. The answer is yes since June of 2011. Prior to that, they were assigned geographically. And one of the most mysterious Social Security numbers in Card Magic is the number 12453-7968 because of its enigmatic properties. Okay. In fact, I even looked up where this Social Security number was likely issued, and it took me to New Jersey, which is the home state of a famous magician who began his career as a close-up card magician. So I'm not claiming this is his Social Security number, but it wouldn't surprise me if it were. Okay, so what I've done here, let me just move this out of the way. So the Social Security number we're looking at is 124 five three seven nine six eight and anyone who has followed my channel knows that i have often referred to the under down deal or under down shuffle as the most destructive of all systematic mixing procedures since for starters it's one of the few that destroys the virtually indestructible Bessie and quasi-Bessie sequence packet structures. But for some unknown reason, this particular social security number paired with the underdown shuffle produces amazing magic. Okay, so let's just take a look at that. So we'll go ahead and gather these up. Okay, so this packet destroying shuffle that we're going to apply is the under down and most importantly we can apply that as many times as you choose as the spectator okay so let me just show you what that is if you haven't seen it before so under down under down under down okay so that's the un whoop. <laughs> under down shuffle Okay, so you're just alternating under and then down. Last card goes on top. Okay, so I've done it just once. Would you like me to do it again? Because as I mentioned, this shuffle makes a mess of a packet of cards. You want me to do it a second time? Okay, so under, down. In fact, if you were here, um, I would actually just hand the cards to you and have you do this. Okay, just in case you think I'm doing some weird sleight of hand or something. Okay, would you like to do a third time? You would. Okay, let's do it a third time. Okay, but just know that you can do this as many times as the spectator likes. Okay, you truly, truly can. Okay, okay. So are you content with the mixing? Okay, you are, but we could do it more. Just realize that. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these cards and I'm going to push off the top two and one pile, pile one, next two, pile two, next two, pile three, and then I'm just going to deal out two, one, three. And then off to the side, you'll probably notice that I have a written prediction. So let's just take a look at that. What could I have possibly predicted would happen here? Let's see, the three piles, read that correctly, <laughs> the three cards in each pile are all the same. What in the world is that referring to? They're all the same. Uh, well, we know that can't possibly be true unless they've transformed into, wow, that'd be, that would be a miracle. Well, let's just see what we're doing here. Okay, well, I'm um, not seeing how they're the same. I mean, the same suit, but we started out with the same suit, so that's no big miracle. They're all the same. How are these all? So the cards within each, like these are all the same, these are the same, and these are the same. I'm not seeing it here. 
So three cards in each pile are all the same. Oh, let's see. They encrypt the same numbers. Three, four, five. What? So the cards within each pile encrypt the same numbers. Either three or four or five. Are you seeing anything here? Okay, well, is there more to the... Oh, there we go. Just count the number of letters in each card value name. Okay, I'm starting to make some sense of it. Okay, so how many letters are in the card value names for these three cards? Well, the card value is ace, two, and six. Yeah, come to think of it. <laughs> Those all have three letters in their names. Uh, see, what about over here? Five, nine, four. Oh, of course. These card values have four letters in their names. What about down here? These must have five because that was the prediction. See, seven, S-E-V-E-N, five letters, eight, the same thing. Three, T-H-R-E-E, -E, that's five letters. Indeed, our prediction perfectly foresaw the outcome of this very mystifying social security number. Okay. Well, if you do everything that I've done here, this will work for you. If you're wanting to understand the underlying mathematics, then just take a look at the video that I've linked below. It gives you a completely different routine using face cards, okay? That effect will work in all languages just fine. And it explains the invariant structure that's driving that routine as well as this one. Okay, well, thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.